Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's top five camp builds. As it is Halloween and we have had the monthly competition going on, this week is going to feature all of the winners from the monthly competition. Of course, like I say, that was all themed around Halloween. So these are the Halloween camps that you guys sent in and these are my five favourites. So with all that being said, I hope you all enjoy. If you do, click on that like button, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to get involved in future competitions or the weekly, all you got to do is make a video of your camp and send it into the discord by the link down in the description anyways let's dive straight in and find out the winners of this month's top five camps all right ladies and gentlemen up at number five this week we've got a build by vix and vix has done a really cool interesting build what she's done is built of course a halloween build and stuff like that but the thing that was really unique, the creative idea, is of course this lovely door frame. No, it's not. But that is a really creative idea. But the idea behind this camp was basically loads of different themed rooms all around different uh, Halloween films and stuff like that. So we've got this one, which is the Poltergeist. We've got other ones like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Exorcist, all sorts going on. All in films, which I really don't want to watch. They're all in here, and honestly, go through the submissions this week. I hate Halloween films, like the scary ones. I like some, but I just don't like scary films. I'm sorry. But yeah, here's another one, Silence of the Lambs. Very cool. You've got him over there with his mask on and everything, and the actual, like, kind of matching outfit and stuff to fit the theme. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool build this one. I really like the idea behind it. I think you were the only person that went in this week with this kind of idea. You might be the only person I've actually seen do this idea where you've got one camp with loads and loads of different themes behind it. We had some other great builds where people went in and focused on one build, some we will see later on in the top five. But this one I just really liked how it was so different, and I thought you really nailed the themes of it. So The Exorcist, of course, I haven't seen it, thank God, but I've seen a lot of the clips of it. And this is, of course, the bit in the bedroom with the beds floating up and stuff, which is, it's, it's just, you, you get the point. But yeah, lots of cool stuff. Another room coming up now. It's honestly, like, if you haven't seen the full video, guys, I definitely recommend you to go see it. We've got the Chainsaw Massacre here, and there's just loads and loads of cool ones going on with this build so awesome job vix it was a tough competition so congratulations at making top five this week in the monthly competition all right now coming in at number four this week we got a really interesting and cool build by lady h this is another really unique creative idea that came in this month and i thought was brilliant as you can see it's kind of like an outdoor theater type of thing all themed around halloween you've got pumpkins everywhere and stuff like that you've got the vendors of clowns and stuff and it just looks fantastic and i really love the actual stage and stuff like that and the actual big kind of cinema screen that you created and actually made a kind of scene out of it you built the whole like mansion thing up there with the witch and armed uh, soldiers and stuff like that all in the medieval suits of armor i thought it was really cool really really creative so awesome job with that lady h i really enjoyed seeing this kind of take on it where you've got all these different things crammed in you've got like the nice kind of sitting area and stuff out the front and then you actually made like a big scene like i would have seen oh wait not i would have i have seen people do these in the past where they just build like a big screen and you've just got to imagine that is the cinema screen but i don't think i've seen many people come out and actually create a kind of film scene on the actual screen itself so really cool idea really enjoyed that one i love the attention to detail in it and stuff as well like you can see there the owl masks in there you've got the picture frame inside of the window there's so much like little hidden details in this to kind of add it all in and add that extra bit of detail in it so awesome awesome job with that i really enjoyed it and i thought it was really good build so brilliant stuff lady h and congratulations at number four this week now making his way into the top five this week, at number three we have a build by Goldfinger and this one was a really, really dark, scary, creepy type of build. It's all based around Saw and when you come in, I love, I just really love the way it was decorated inside. I think it was really cool how it was like all these kind of small rooms. As you go on, you've got loads of different kind of torturing devices as you would see in the Saw films and I love it. I think the lighting's absolutely spot on. It's very dark, has that kind of creepy feel to it and stuff. The location as well with this one I thought was a really good touch, how you built it around that uh, little kind of bridge down at Foundation where you've got the tunnel. I thought it was a nice idea, seen some awesome Halloween camps at this location in the past, so nicely done with that. And yeah, I love how it's decorated and stuff. You've got here, you've got a mannequin pushing some dodgy wheelchair of 
Wendigo heads, uh, but it all links in with that kind of horror theme. You've got monsters, you've got all sorts going on, and you've got rats crawling the walls and stuff. It's just absolutely phenomenal. So brilliant job, Goldfinger. You're getting involved each and every week, and I know you haven't made it in very often lately, but you've done awesome camps. So thank you for keep getting involved and keep trying and pushing at it because you have been doing some really good camps. And now finally you get in at that top three position so awesome awesome job of that really enjoyed this one though really like the theme of it and stuff i really like the decorating i love the dark colors to add that creepy vibe you absolutely nailed the halloween theme with it so brilliant job with that mate and yeah i love the video as well it kind of added in that kind of story aspect the later you go on in the video and stuff so if you want to check it out same as anyone else involved the links for their videos will be down in the description below so definitely go check out your favorites and if you fancy it subscribe to them support their channels and stuff and yeah there you go guys that was number three this week if you want to check it out link below now coming in at number two this week we have a build by galactic builds who went down a different kind of thing with her so what she did was created her own kind of uh kind of story to go with it her own villain her own kind of horror story and this is the axe murderer's lair and i thought this one was just decorated to absolute perfection like the amount of tricks going on, you've got like obviously cabinet merged in there, you've got some other stuff merged in, I think they're maybe display cases, or it might be a destroyed door, I honestly can't make it out, it's something on the floor, but it looks really cool, look at this scene here as well where it's actually the axe murderer killing someone, I love the use of the actual like the thought process in decorating the camp as well, you've got like the mouldy carpet on the floor there, covered in blood, that looks really cool, really adds to the theme and stuff, but every little bit you look at in here looks really cool, it kind of reminds you of the lair kind of thing, it really fits the theme i love the use of all of the kind of like wooden uh barred windows that you've got like just on normal walls so just kind of make the place feel like it's a like it's a lair like it's got that kind of dark vibe to it and stuff like that i really enjoyed that decorating wise as i say absolutely spot on the lighting is superb it looks brilliant as always with your builds galactic so really awesome job with that and the merging and stuff going on as well is really really cool some really interesting ones going in there were some absolutely amazing merges this week nuke and nurse had some amazing stuff um and yeah look at this look at that one there that looks absolutely fantastic so awesome job of that galactic absolutely nailed it and there's a little scene somewhere i don't know if we i don't think we've seen it just yet but in the video somewhere it said there it is life after death that one there i really like that one he fitted in behind the toilet and stuff look really cool the bath looks brilliant as well i think you might have some rad kelp in there or something making it have that kind of glow coming off it and stuff like that just the attention to detail and the overall just decorate and design and everything of this build was absolutely superb congratulations galactic absolutely nailed this one i loved it now, number one for me this week was a really, really tough choice. There were some really insane camps coming into the monthly, some really, really cool ones, and this one was the one that really stuck out for me. I thought the location was the the kind of the selling point. Once you hit the, the location, you're seeing it with the big carnival in the background and stuff. I just thought this is absolutely perfect. This scene, that scene, all of the scenes just look absolutely amazing. The lighting is absolutely just on point. It looks amazing. And yeah, the overall theme of the camp was really cool as well. It's meant to be like a spooky carnival. You've got the big kind of carnival wheel in the background as well that you've seen in a few different scenes. That looked fantastic. Really like the idea of that. You've got a graveyard thing going on. You've got this abandoned building thing that you've built up over here where you kind of got control of some of the rides and stuff. It looks just amazing like look at this look at that that's the carnival wheel i was talking about it just looks phenomenal absolutely love this one fuzzbrain i think in fact i think i'm just wild on now i didn't even say who it is number one this week guys it's fuzzbrain but yeah sorry about that but yeah overall fantastic looking camp this one i think it's decorated perfectly lighting is absolutely amazing the location is fantastic and it's just overall a 10 out of 10 build so awesome job mate very close this month uh you've had between you and galactic the two of you's Either one of these could have been number one. There was a lot of other camps that didn't make it in as well, which really could have been and possibly should have been in the top five. So very tough choices in there. But overall, I'm happy with the five I came up with. Hope you guys are too. I do have a little feature to go over as well, but these were some amazing camps. So thank you everyone for getting involved and congratulations. Fuzzbrain at number one this week. Absolutely beautiful.
Now the feature for this week is a kind of machinima build that Nukes Black Thumb has decided to create for this one and it was absolutely brilliant. It tells a cool story relating to Michael Myers and I just thought I had to share it with you guys. You have to check it out because it is absolutely just super brilliant, brilliant video, really exciting kind of on your uh, what's it called again on your toes keeps keeps you on your toes that's the that's the phrase uh yeah but really cool and also has some like added humor in there as well i love these type of builds as i've always kind of helped and supported uranium fever and their gang where they come together and do the amazing machinimas that they've done over the last couple of years and now nukes has done one as well and it's just absolutely fantastic we should have a ticker in the corner for the amount of times i've said absolutely this video but <laughs> overall brilliant brilliant stuff mate really enjoyed the video and i want to share it with you guys so definitely go Go check it out down in the description down below there was a lot of other ones i wanted to share uh, share as well but the video would have been just going on and on so there you go awesome build mate thanks for sending it in there you go guys that was this week's top five cam builds i took my glasses off for once because i'm sick to death of this happening look you put these on and it's like boom white reflections everywhere so i'm taking them off for now but yeah thank you all for sending it in guys i hope you enjoyed the top five camps there was some absolutely Again, absolutely insane videos this week that got sent in. The camp builds were just amazing. So hats off to each and every one of you. I'm going to do a quick shout out to everyone that got involved. We had Fuzzbrain, Galactic Builds, Reasonable Madness, Navigator Players, Nukes Black Thumb, uh, Kijo, Kirku, uh, Wastelander 84, Twisted Rose, Only Sai, Anderil, Goldfinger 76, Hitbit, Biowagon, Nina, uh, Matt Wilmot, Vix W, Ozzy, Lady H, Matt Wilmot, oh sorry, with Queen of Z's submission, Destroyer of Time, and Nuka Nurse. Nuka Nurse, your merging was beautiful this time round. Really nice decorated Halloween camp. And also I want to do a shout out to Nina as well. Nina Alabaster, what a build that is. I've just been on a way on a uh, trip to Disneyland and I did the Haunted Mansion. And honestly, your video and the ride was just perfect so brilliant brilliant stuff for that name i really enjoyed that but yeah overall guys thank you all for getting involved hope you all enjoyed this month's competition and hopefully we'll have another one going next month as well so get your ideas in the discord and i'll catch you in the next one guys thanks for watching catch you in the next one and if you've enjoyed hit that like button make sure to subscribe and bye bye